Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Gabrielle times Gabrielle and I'm back with yet another video. Uh, this is my second one. I'm super excited. I was super nervous for the first one to drop. I'm super nervous for this one to drop to be real with y'all. This is like my seventh time recording this like start stop start stop but i got it this time but yes welcome um or welcome back thank you if you've already subscribed if you have not already please hit that subscribe button for me i would really 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 appreciate you um and we're going shopping today y'all so right now i am at somerset if you know you know out and that's why i'm like looking around it's this is also my first time like recording outside of my home and I'm a little nervous. Like the nerves is like, ah, but you know what? Skip fear. Cause we don't have time for fear. Fear gets us nowhere. Okay. So, um, yeah, we are at Somerset. If you know, this is the bougie mall. Okay. So this is, they have their, um, of course they're Macy's, they have their Saks Fifth Avenue, they have their uh, Gucci, their Louis, their Burberry, um, yeah, all those fancy things. But today we're here for Zara, okay, don't get it, we only going to Zara today. Um, I have a photo shoot coming up this Sunday and I originally had a plan for it. Um, I wanted to design outfits for it, I did design a few outfits, but i'm not ready for those to be shot in like real life yet so um i want to think fast and still put her in something like i don't want to chicken out i guess we can say um so yeah we are gonna and probably change the concept my original concept was um just gonna be i don't even know if i want to tell y'all i would tell y'all i mean i would show y'all what concept i would go for um i made a mood board i'm gonna be looking back and forth at that um i looked up the stuff what zara already have in store so that i when i was online window shopping online um i knew what i would look lo knew what i was looking for um and to make sure that this location actually had it before i wasted my time you know so yes i'm in my car right now finna go in um we gotta, I'm gonna wear a mask. It seemed like it's a lot of people at the mall for it to be a Thursday. I have on this jacket because it get cold in the malls to me. And I haven't been to the mall in forever, to be honest with y'all. I, the malls are eh, hit or miss these days, but I also don't like online shopping because I really do enjoy the um, mall atmosphere, I guess we can say. like. I, well, not the mall atmosphere. I enjoy the shopping atmosphere. I enjoy the shopping experience. I enjoy like hearing the music or seeing people, other out outfits, get inspired by other people while I'm in the store. Um, you know, the customer service being greeted when I walk into the door, that stuff matters to me. And I enjoy that part. And that's why I'm kind of sad. That's why I, I just recently bought something from uh, Shein, like a more than I've ever bought from Shein, but it was just basics. Uh, that's gonna be another video coming soon, but that's why I try to stay away from like online shopping because I don't want the malls to go away. Like I grew up in the malls, you know what I mean? Like I grew up with my mom, we going shopping on Saturdays, hitting the mall, you know, having a good time. No, I'm not Saturday, Sunday. We will go to church, we will go to grandma's house and eat, and then we'll go to the mall afterwards and hit TJ Maxx and all of that stuff. Like that is just sacred to me. It feel good, you know? I know I always talk about what feel good, but that feel good. I just love shopping and I got a problem, clearly. But, um, so like who gets that excited off of shopping i was just about to go on a rant about shopping that's like <laughs> i'm a nerd about shopping but anyways yes i have on this jacket because i think it's gonna be a little cold in there i have on my mom's ed hardy hat don't tell her because just don't tell her okay and then i got y'all should see this <laughs> let me show y'all my belt I got on the Ed Hardy belt to match the hat. You feel me? Something light, nothing too major, okay? Um, 
but yeah just a casual out shopping don't want to overdo it want to be comfy still uh fit and um yeah y'all ready let's go lego three two one Y'all know that song. Mask up, shoulders. Okay, for real, let's go. <laughs> So since I had my mask on and the music was playing, you could barely understand me, unfortunately. But here I was just saying how, of course, it was the end of summer and I was looking for summer outfits. But being that fast fashion rolls out their new merch for the oncoming seasons really quickly. They're very on it. They only had winter things. So I was deciding on if I wanted to stick to, I'm sorry, not winter, fall. If I wanted to stick to um, the summer, end of summer shoot, or if I wanted to jump right into where the fast fashion was taking us. Okay, so I don't know who needs to hear this, but ladies, do not be afraid to shop the entire store. Just because you are a lady does not mean you have to stay in the lady side of the store. I hit the kids because I'm pretty petite. Um, and I hit the men's for sure. Um, so just make sure you shop the entire store. You can find some really good finds in the men's section. I'm trying to tell you. Hey y'all, so for starters, I'm driving and I'm gonna keep my eyes on the road. Um, but Today is shoot day. I am feeling a lot of different emotions. I don't know if you guys even know what's happening. I just showed y'all that I went to Zara and picked out some clothes for a photo shoot. Um, but I am setting up a photo shoot. I guess I can. you can say I am, I am well, it's not I guess, I am the stylist, I am the coordinator. Um, I put everybody together. Uh, me along with Sarah found models. Sarah is our photographer for today. Um, I wanted to tap into my editorial bag, so I wanted to do more things like, like I said, editorial. This is my very first editorial shoot that I'm styling by myself. An assistant is confused. A sister is nervous. A sister is anxious. A sister, y'all, honey, send help and nudes, okay? Um, I, like I said, am nervous for sure. The fits that I have, so what happened was there was originally supposed to be one model for this photo shoot, but the model and I had a miscommunication and she thought that the shoot was yesterday, but it's actually today and she has another shoot today. So she didn't want to double book herself. Like she literally can't be in two places at once. So she like, well, I can't do it, guys. I'm like, okay, we're sorry, no problem. We just have to find someone else. So in the process of us finding someone else, we put it on social media, like, hey, we're looking for a model for this day. Must be this size, yada, yada, yada. Someone reached out back to us and said, well, I'll do it. So now there's, I mean, and then the original model hit us back. Like, I really, really enjoy working with y'all. I really want to work with y'all. So I'm just going to do two shoots in one day. We're like, wow, you're so amazing. Um, but now there's two models because we didn't want to tell the other person what said she'll do it. We didn't want to tell her no. So, um, and then there's two of the same skirts. So you will see it. It will all make sense when I show you. But there's two of the same skirts. And I bought two of the same skirts because the original model is a, is a small. But... I also grabbed an extra small because I didn't know which one would fit her better. Um, so that's why there's two of the same skirts. But I don't want to put both of the models in the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It just, we can come better than that, I personally believe. And I think that the outfits that I chose are really planted safe. And as my um, styling coach, my mentor, the person that I've styled under for every gig that I've had, Brittany, she told me that editorial isn't really supposed to make sense. Um, it's not meant for people to understand. It's just art for you to look at. Like when you go to a museum, 
you get your own description of what your own image in your head of what the artist was trying to imagine and express themselves through so hopefully that still you know happens normally i'm always super anxious never get sleep before uh night before shoots because i just want everything to go as planned you know um so when what was i saying this is what happened on the road um uh -huh. when i get to the shoot most times 10 times out of 10 everything literally just flows and works out and everything looks so good but this one i'm for real nervous about y'all like i prayed about it i know that god got me um, I asked for guidance, for clarity. I thanked him for my creative gift and asked him to not allow me to stress myself out through it. So we just gonna see what happens and I'm bringing y'all along with me. Right now I'm headed to Brittany's house, my style and mentor. She has a creative house, an art house she calls it. So you can just come up, pull up, do what you gotta do. And then yeah, have a grand time. But she has a friend that has a boutique basically set up in her store i mean in her house so i'm gonna go pull some items from there and just start putting stuff with stuff and just making it work the best way that i know how to um so i'll pick up the camera again once i get there and show you all i just want y'all to know that for me is not always a walk in a park honestly it's never a walk in a park when it comes to styling things um and styling models that I've never styled before or even worked with before. Um, learning their body type and what flatters them and what does not flatter them is also have been also has been a challenge. Um, I'm working with very small, not small, sorry. I'm working with very tall girls. Um, they are very amazing women. I never like their work that I've seen is just super amazing. I'm super excited. I am super nervous though y'all oh my goodness but i'm gonna be okay i turned the ac off because i didn't want it blowing and i wrote the windows up so i'm about to get back in my bag and uh not sweat my life off <laughs> i'm gonna uh, see y'all when i get to Brittany's house all right bye mm -hmm. yeah so we made it to brit love's house there's brit love back there this is the fairy godmother of fashion.
just a glimpse of the work that was taken. If you click the links in my bio, you can see all the other ladies' Instagrams and my Instagram and see the rest of the shoot there.